Hi guys, 18 up here and welcome to this video. It is my 2021-22 League One away kit ranking video. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this video and in this one we'll take a look at the released away kit of every single League One team and rank it 24 through to first um, and we'll see where I put your team in the table. As I said on the home kit ranking, if you've not seen that I'll link it in the top corner of the screen, uh, this is all opinion based, it's just kind of, I look at the kit, do I like it, don't I like it, where do I put it in the table, you guys will all have your own opinions and that's the good thing about football, it's about coming together, thrashing out some opinions and having good discussions, so I'm looking forward to your comments in the section down below uh, telling me where the kit should go. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm sure my opinions and my kind of preferences will be very different to yours so let's get this one underway starting with the worst kit in my opinion and that is Wickham Wanderers for me I'm just not a fan of the colour um, for an away kit there's not that much to be excited about either I think if it had been a more vibrant yellow or, or, or a more vibrant gold I'd have preferred it but it just kind of looks Meh. I just really don't like the colour. It was one of those instant dislike kind of things where it came up. I was just like, oof, it's a bit dodgy that. I don't like that. Um, so for that reason, unfortunately, I put you down in 24th. Wickham, the home kit, did very well, in my opinion. The away kit, not so well. So Wickham, I'm sorry, but you're in 24th for your away kit. Next up is Shrewsbury Town. Uh, now, this one, there's no kit being released yet, so I've put them down in 23rd. Um, and if the away kit looks similar to this, they'll probably be down at this kind of position anyway. Um, it reminds me of a, a bit of a Sunday League kit, um, and it's a letdown compared to the home shirt. The home shirt is very nice, but this one, just plain white with a blue over the shoulders, could do more on an away kit, in my opinion. Moving on to 22nd, it is another unreleased kit, so it's Portsmouth. Um, as I say, no kit released yet, but if it's similar to last season's, it's sharp, it's simple, it's it's clean, it's a nice kit, but for me, away kits should, wow, they're an opportunity to kind of push the boundaries a little bit, and this kit doesn't do that, it's a bit of a template kit. Um, the diagonal lines do complement the kit well, but for me, nothing to shout about once again, so 22nd for Portsmouth. Moving into 21st, I have gone with the final unreleased kit, Oxford United, um, and if the kit does look like this, this this season, it's giving me Netherlands vibes, and I do really like the orange um, and black combo, so I think it'd end up creeping up the table to a solid mid-table, if not pushing for top six, um, but because it's an unreleased kit, I've uh, deducted some points from it, so I'll put it down in 21st, so Oxford, if you've got a kit like this this season, I'll be very impressed, but unfortunately because it's last season's and there's no kind of information that you're going to be using in this kit for, for this season, I'll put you down in 21st. Bolton in 20th for me. The new home shirt was released after I did my ranking video. It is a very nice kit. Um, it looks clean, it looks tidy. So I ranked the Bolton kit quite low uh, on the home ranking. Uh, because I used last season's kit, it would have increased in its position. But the away kit for me just doesn't do anything. I don't like the mustard yellow. Um, I'm not a fan of collars on kits. And for me, I just don't like this kit. Sorry Bolton fans, but you're down in 20th for me. It's just a kit, another similar to the Wickham kit where when it came up it was just kind of an instant dislike. Not for me. On to 19th, I have gone with Accrington Stanley. There is another. <laughs> I thought there was only three unreleased kit. There, there must be four. Um, possibly more. Who knows. But this one, uh, it's another kit that's not yet released. And it's very similar to the to the home shirt where they had a solid red with the pattern on the sleeve. This one is solid white with the same dotted pattern on the sleeve. And for me, it's just two different ideas. Um, so both a home and away kit have ranked fairly low on, on my ranking videos. So 19 for Atkinson Stanley. On to 18th, I've gone with Burton Albion. Um, 
I preferred the dot pattern on the home shirt. I think the yellow and black combination popped a lot better. Um, this may have, I may have preferred this a little bit more if the white shirt was the grey on the uh, on the Press Tech logo, so that grey and blue. But they've gone with white, and I think it just kind of merges in a little bit too much. The the blue's a little bit too light. Could have been a darker blue. So yeah, for that reason, Burton Albion in 18th. On to 17th, I have gone with Sunderland. Sunderland fans won't be happy once again. Ranked both shirts fairly low on both my videos. Just both shirts this season have not done anything for me, unfortunately. Um, I don't like the two shades of yellow on this. The darker yellow on the sleeves and the solid kind of lighter yellow on the body. I think if it had all been one colour, you'd have probably been ranked higher. Because I really did like the Oxford home kit. Um, but for me, away kits, as I've said already, need to be a bit more adventurous than this one isn't so 17th for Sunderland on to 16th I've gone with Ipswich Town another plain simple kit from Ipswich the home kit very very nice the away kit is a nice kit it's a solid kit but I want more adventure on away kits I want an adventurous away kit and for me this is a little bit too plain a nice kit though but 16th solid on to 15th another solid colour a lovely solid blue number from Cheltenham um, so I've put these mid-table in 15th, it's clean, it's tidy, similar to the Ipswich. I just want to see something a little bit different in a away kit rather than a solid colour. A bit too plain but it is a very nice, very nice kit. So solid mid-table for Cheltenham. On to 14th, it's another plain kit. There's a bit of a theme going on. <laughs> plain kits on a home kit I'm quite happy with. Plain kits on an away kit I am not. So Wigan Athletic going to 14th for me. Um, as a whole, once I say I've said it, it's a bit too plain for me. It works really well though, it's a very nice top. Um, but yeah, push boundaries with an away kit. Be adventurous, push it out there. Uh, but the solid red with the darker red detailing, it's a nice away kit and I think it'll look great on the pitch. Moving on to 13th, I've gone with MK Dons. Once again, similar to Wigan, very plain, very clean. It's a nice top, so I've got to put it mid-table because it's, it's not a bad top, but it's not one of those tops that I think that's fantastic as an away kit. The reason I put MK Dons above Wigan is I prefer the white detailing to the darker red on red. Um, so that is the difference for these two kits. Very similar kits, but I think this one just looks a little bit neater, a, bit, a little bit cleaner. So a quick recap on the bottom half of the table. Bottom four for me, Wickham, Shrewsbury, Portsmouth and Oxford. Uh, three of those four teams yet to release a kit. But Wickham, for me, have just missed the mark, in my personal opinion. 20th up to 13th, we've gone with Bolton, Accrington, Burton, Sunderland, Ipswich, Cheltenham, Wigan and MK Dons. So starting with 12th, I've gone with Plymouth Argyle. Um, it's nice, it's another clean away kit. Uh, and the, the green breaks it up a little bit, so it stops it from being a playing kit, which would have dropped it down a few positions. Um, Again, could have been more adventurous for me. The green saves it, pushes it up the table because it does it does break it up a little bit. And I do like that they've kept the colour from the home kit and brought it onto the away kit, but still made the kits vastly different. Um, so yeah, credit where it's due. Kept your colour um, and incorporated it into an away kit, which is which is great. But yeah, for me, still a little bit too plain. Not as adventurous as I as I like to see. So. Plymouth Argyle down in 12th. On to 11th, I've gone with Rotherham United. So we're starting to get into away kits with a bit more of a design on the kit. And Rotherham's is a very nice shirt, a nice design within the uh, within the grey. Kind of breaks it up a lot. And the pops of red for me go with the badge. And it's a really nice kit, so I'm looking forward to seeing that out on the key mode pitch when we face them at home. So Rotherham United at 11th for me. On to 10th, I've gone with Morecambe. Um, two great kits from Morecambe this year. The home kit was very nice, the away kit, another smart kit. Um, nice pattern that breaks up the solid black. And yeah, not as adventurous as I'd like to see. Um, it's just lacking that pop of colour. I think too much black. Uh, but yeah, the pattern within the shirt is very, very nice. So 10th for Morecambe for me. On to 9th, similar to, similar to Morecambe's kit is Fleetwood's. Um, but as I mentioned with a Morecambe kit, a pop of colour would have just bumped it up a little bit and that's what Fleet would have done. So a solid black kit with a bit of a pattern within it, 
um, and then the pop of red down the uh, down the arms and the the sponsor and the Hummel make the the badge the little detailing around the sleeves it's a very very nice kit um, so a solid ninth position for Fleetwood's away kit there on to eighth I've gone with Gillingham so I much prefer the red and black of the Gillingham kit to the blue and black um, the blue and black ranked fairly low for me I just think it just didn't pop enough whereas this the red on black um, it's nice they're uh, Inter Milan, AC Milan, <laughs> who knows, they've gone, uh, they've gone Inter for the home shirt, AC Milan for the away shirt and for me I just gravitate towards the red and black, I really like it so uh, I've put it up in 8th for me, Gillingham, solid 8th position for your away kit. On to 7th I've gone with my team, I'm currently sporting this top and I'm a big fan of this kit um, as I am with the home kit, uh, the home kit has split the fans quite a lot on social media, the away kit didn't seem to split the fans quite as much, um, I think more fans liked this kit than didn't, um, and for me it's something different with a pattern inside the shirt, inside the body, the white sleeves with the blue detailing underneath, it's a nice kit, it's a solid kit, I really like it, um, I really like the home shirt as well, but for me something different with the away kit and it deserves 7th, I think I've put the home kit in 7th as well, There's better kits out there um, as I've said on this channel I'll always try and kind of remain unbiased and just kind of give my opinion based on trying to get rid of allegiances and, and rivalries and stuff uh, so yeah I think we've got a solid kit both home and away this season on to sixth so we're into the playoffs now and the first spot in the playoffs goes to AFC Wimbledon our first game of the season um, Doncaster versus AFC Wimbledon and Wimbledon are using last season's kit, so they've not released one yet, but they have said that they're using last season's kits, which I think is is great. Uh, fans bought the kits last season and didn't get to wear them, didn't get to see the team in them. So credit to Wimbledon for, for continuing using those strips this season. Um, potential lost revenue there from shirt sales, so I think rewarding the fans for their loyalty and stuff it should be should be recognised so congratulations to, to Wimbledon for doing that and well done um, it's smart it's it's a nice kit uh, the discrete pattern within the yellow uh, kind of interlocking chains going across the kit and the blue complements the yellow extremely well so a solid away kit there from Wimbledon spot on sixth place for you on to fifth I have gone with Sheffield Wednesday so something very different with this kit a nice geometric pattern within the pink um, I've seen mixed reviews online, uh, people not liking the pink, people loving the pink. I am on that side of the fence, I love it. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic kit, something very different. Um, but for me, what lets it down is the button collar. I said it with a home shirt, I'm not a fan of a button collar. Uh, I believe it's called a Korean collar. Just not a fan of it, but the kit as a whole, if it just had a standard collar, it'd be up, up in the top two for me. Uh, a lovely, lovely away kit. On to fourth, I have gone with... Cambridge United, so their their home shirt was horrid. I put them 24th on the home ranking, but they have smashed it out of the park with the away shirt. It makes up for the home shirt. Uh, the black and gold complement complement each other superbly. Um, solid black. There's a little bit of a pattern within the body, and then the gold going across. It's a lovely, lovely away kit. Um, it's got a collar though. Don't like a collar. Prefer kind of round necks, but each to their own. I think overall though, lovely away kit. So I've put Cambridge in fourth, and in third, Crew Alexandra, another team that I ranked very low on their home shirt, but this away shirt again hit it out of the park. Um, I love the badge detail at the bottom, of the bottom left hand shirt. Um, so the the line I believe it is within the badge is now part of the pattern within the shirt. It's got a similar kind of line pattern to what this Rovers away shirt has got um, going up towards the collar and it's not got a fold over collar, it's got a round collar so that's why I bumped it up a place to third rather than fourth two lovely black away kits with the, uh, with the gold detailing so crew are in third a quick recap on the top half of the table so 12th to 7th I went Plymouth, Rotherham, Morecambe, Fleetwood, Gillingham and my team Doncaster Rovers 
And then playoffs, I've gone with AFC Wimbledon, Sheffield Wednesday, Cambridge and Crewe. So if you're watching this and you're a Charlton or Lincoln fan, you know that you guys are going to be top two. But it's just deciding which one is which. In the comments before we go on, let me know which one, which way round you think I've gone. Without cheating, pause the video, put the comment in and now we'll move on. So in second, I have gone with Charlton Athletic. Um, it's a beautiful kit, absolute beauty of an away shirt. I love the pattern, I love the mix of colours, the red, the pink, the white, the black, the grey. It's all in there, it's smack bang in your face. I love it as an away kit. As I've said previously in the video, I want kits, away kits that push boundaries and are adventurous. And this is one of those kits. Absolute stunner. Very nice away kit. Well done, Charlton. I've put you in second, which leaves Lincoln City for first and this is an absolute stunner that's been created by Lincoln City. The dark blue, um, the dark blue main colour, complemented by the abstract pattern across the whole kit in the light blue and the, and the darker blue. It's just a fantastic shirt and it's one of those where I look at it and I'd actually consider buying it myself. It's a beautiful kit, absolutely stunning. Um, if Rovers had come up with something like that, I think the majority of the fan base would have been buzzing um, and it would fly off of the shelves. A fantastic design, something different, something out there which I think away kits should be. Home kits should stick to history, away kits. Do what you want with them, enjoy it, be adventurous and Lincoln have done just that which is why I've put them top of the table for the away kits. And that is it for this video, let me know your thoughts on the away kits down below in the comments. If you've enjoyed it, big thumbs up for us please, comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.